Hi, welcome into the SoFi Business Loans Review. My name is Michael with Viral Funding Solutions. I'm a business funding expert, or in other words, a business loan broker expert as well. And in this video, I will be uncovering the SoFi Business Loans. Is it legitimate? And if it is, is it best for you? What's the process look like? And much more. But what you should know is that I've been able to help a lot of businesses. And so you are in the right hands at the right place at the right time. And I will be going through the homepage as you see here on the share screen and then detailing a little bit on a surface level of the different products that SoFi has. But more importantly, we'll be getting into the business loans right away. And so here, let me quickly skim through the home page. You can see it. It may look different over time, but it is an FDIC insured online bank. And perhaps you have an established relationship with them, but you're just unsure about the business loans and how they work, or you don't, and you're just trying to get started. You've heard about them. And let me just address this. SoFi is legit. However, are they best for you? That's the question you'll want to answer for yourself. And I'll have that and I'll help you and I'll aid you on that. And so with their business loans, I would be cautious of, I respect and I admire that they have that, but I've seen similarities to what they have in other places that I'll be getting into in a second and their partnerships that I'm established with a few of them as well. But I wouldn't directly always say, hey, go into them or do it this way to maximize your approvals of getting the best. There are certain ways and exclusivity of doing this where it can increase your odds, increase the maximum of approvals amounts at the best terms and rates and all the other services that I go through with people. And it's usually credit based, cash flow based or collateral. You either have one of these three, two or all three. And I look at maximizing your potential now and in the long term around one or multiple. And if none, we work on business credit, we trade credit, revolving, there's installment first. It could be then revolving after or wherever you are in the process, I can meet you. All different services that I do as well. So here we see the products. Let me quickly go through this. Loan, student loan refinancing to private student loans. You have personal loans all the way down here to small business financing, everything in between. And what you should know too, is that I help out business owners acquire personal loans for funding, for their business, I should say. And so if you're in that position where you perhaps have better credit, this is a credit-based solution for those of you looking for a personal term slash installment loan, personal lines of credit to be used for your business, then there's a way to go about that. And if you don't have the credit, we can work on the cash flow part, the collateral part, or we have to meet somewhere underneath that and start separating your personal from your business. It's what's very, very important. And if you're not separating the two, one, you could be held liable. And two, you're trying to get approved for other types of services. You're trying to build out their trade lines and do other things with mortgages or more specifically, when you're trying to get approved for an SBA loan, they look at the business liquid credit score, the FICO SBSS, bank term loans, and a few other ones as well. So it's important to have that. So here, banking, checking, and savings, whether you have their mobile app and you're doing some kind of banking with them. Business solutions, we'll go into that in a second here. Credit cards, if you're interested in getting personal and even business credit cards, more so business credit cards at 0% interest for 6 to 18 months and up to 150, if not 250,000. I'll leave more information down below, but you can liquidate the cash out of these cards. We can add on top of one another and use them as you choose as a real estate investor business uh, in your business. Excuse me. I was starting to get on the tangents here thinking about a different real estate investment, but whether you're a business owner needing money for expansion, growth, building and getting out of a tight pinch or whatever those reasons are, payroll, et cetera, there's a place for it. And so without going too into that part, let me transition over to this document. So Lantern by SoFi, this is their website that they own. And this is where kind of like uh, the vision of, but it's still SoFi, it's a marketplace. And so I'd be very cautious of going through a marketplace specifically for funding too, because I know how these work. I've seen other ones that could work the same or less, where they may be protecting your credit, may not be. They protect that here, and I'll go through that in a second, but I know through experience and having my multiple businesses, if I didn't say, in the digital marketing agency, lead generation space, affiliate marketing, and the health space, a few other verticals there, other ventures, and this is my primary focus is uh, as a business loan broker expert. I've been doing this for some time, and so what happens is you give your information to somebody, and you give them right, or you give them access to then send you to other third parties to other lenders directly or indirectly. And I wouldn't want that in that case. 
it shouldn't work like that where they're just going to start emailing you then you give them authority to be able to do that text you pre-recorded stuff here automated this way it's not what i recommend there's a different way of doing it where we can do it with a direct lender and an indirect lender through a brokerage that is more suited and that actually is better right now in the market as well as moving forward we will protect your credit as well and we can get you the best approval from the right lender and you're actually getting looked at from the best lender while protecting your credit at better approvals instead of saying i just went to one or apply to each and every one of them individually you want to know what you can get what's best for your industry and we usually beat most offers out there so i'll leave that recommendation down below in the description but also i'll have the questionnaire there will be a questionnaire you can submit we can get a very highly personalized and customized email response on your best funding option and options i'll try to cover that at the end here let's move along so here, personal loans all the way down to learn small business. And here's what it looks like. Find different credit card options. And I can help you with that without having to go through a setup like this. It can be something you want to try and do, but be very careful about how far you exceed. How uh, Wide Lantern by SoFi. Real offers from top providers. 100% free to compare rates. Safe and secure. Expert info. So one thing you do have to be careful of is convenience. A lot of these online marketplaces and companies make it, quote unquote, convenient. If it's something that's going to reduce the time spent, the effort spent on something, you're going to be cost effective. And there's many other things that I can say. Yes, it's helpful. But who are you giving your information to? Just because they present it that way and they know the psychology of how you think about it. You go, I'm going to do the thing that's going to be the least resistance. Doesn't mean it's best. So be careful. I've had a lot of cases and clients come back to me and go, well, I shouldn't have done that. Why well, made it aware? Yet they did. They're ego. They're stubborn. They're hard-headed. And I'm not saying you are or have any of that or maybe one of, but hey, we leave that out the door. And it's an attitude. It's a character thing that drives. It's a fear. It's a lack of belief or thinking of something the way you think it is. You read reviews. You think because somebody says something bad about it, it's bad. No, it's bad because of their experience or it is actually factually bad. Like it does make sense why that's the case. And I would agree with you. And other ones that are right doesn't always make it right. So be very cautious of those things. And so here you can go through here, credible reviews, but be very cautious again, just because there are credible reviews around that. There are probably some lower, higher end, et cetera. It doesn't always make it seem like Okay, just because of that, I'm going to go ahead and apply. You know, you, you got to take a cautious approach of this. And so there you see more on that. SoFi receives compensation in the event you obtain a loan, financial product, or service through the Lantern Marketplace. This Lantern website is owned by SoFi Lending Corp., a lender licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovations. We can go on and on. All rates, fees, and terms are presented without guarantee and are subject to change pursuant to each provider's discretion. I, think that's, I have a uh, HP lighting thing. That's why the ring gets in the way. You have discretion. There is no guarantee you will be approved or qualified for the advertising, advertised rates, fees, or terms presented. And here we go, a little bit more. This is pretty step, standard stuff, at least to me, perhaps to you too, or it's new. And personal loan, you get to see there, student loan refinance, auto loan finance, secured lending disclosure, banking. You see that there. They are in corporation with Engine by Money Lion and so forth, offered by other banks, uh, lenders, and financial institutions. You can see here. So there's a lot of partnerships, as you see. And there's a little bit more there at the bottom. So let's go up here and flip back to this screen. So more or less, you are going to be taken to the same place. Let's just look at this how it goes. Small business financing. So here it is. Here's some of their providers. And again, like I said earlier, I've partnered with some of them, but I wouldn't always recommend if I saw your file based on what you have, I'm not taking you to an on deck. And if even an on deck was suited for you, I'd say we got to look at two to three on deck probably won't work best for you because of this, or they won't approve you with this, with that. And so there's a probably another eight tier lender that you should get approved for. We can look at it better here. And instead of putting it all in one, like all in different little locations, all these little places, we do it under underneath one place that's more effective energy and time wise. And so if you're an eight tier client, but you're applying to a C tier client, like you got to be careful or you're. A B tier client or a C D tier client, or whatever it is, you're applying to an A tier client and you don't get approved. You just don't know what you're getting out of these and what to do and what to fix. So when you're working with myself, somebody as a broker, somebody who knows their way around this and can consult with you and help you understand why you were disapproved or what would happen in the case of this, et cetera, you have a better look at it. And there's better personal and business relationships that I have with what I'm doing as well. So here you can learn a little bit more things. 
and scroll down. Yeah, that's helpful. I've seen a lot of this though, it's common. And so up here, how does Lantern by SoFi work? One, search. Use our quick online search and refine your results to find the financial products and rates to meet your business needs. Two, choose. Compare rates from top small business lenders who match your qualifications and need as a borrower. Apply for a small business loan with your lender or lenders of your choice. Three, you get funded. Find out if you're approved as soon as that day and receive funding in as little as 24 hours. Compare lenders now. But here, as I didn't go through each one of these, but you can see they're from On Deck, Funding Circle, Seek Business Capital, Fundera, Lend You, Biz to Credit. And yes, they are reputable, but it's not like I'm going to say go through them. I wouldn't unless it really made sense, unless I looked at the file, unless it really had to. But for a lot of these, I would say, no, let's not go to them first. There's other places out there that could be more beneficial. And then in time, if that's the case, I can leave that as the back end. But like I said, I've been doing this long enough where I know based on a file, when we look at documentation too, I had a client not too long ago who got approved for like 15,000. And over here, we're getting them about 95,000, like over $80,000 there. Night and day, that's a huge difference. You don't always see that, but you can see a big significant difference. I've had people go through Lendio who then came to me. They were getting a smaller approval where we got them like 50 to 75, if not 50 to 100,000 more and better terms, better rates, better partnership and flexibility. And even if not the rates and the terms were the best as well or somewhat close enough, you have a strategic partnership and roadmap. And there's more that you get out of me than as opposed to just going to something like this, building your business credit on top of this at the same time, getting all of these little pieces in line in your business. If they're not there, getting approved by, there's SBA loan lenders out there that I recommend. I wouldn't go through this, to be honest with you, although they can match you, I wouldn't do that. Be quite honest with you. It's probably a last resort. I have the preferred lenders and all that, et cetera. So let's go through this part of the process. How much do you want to borrow? I'm going to just give an example. 50,000 is fast and free and it won't affect your credit. Advertising disclosures, view your rates and business name. We'll just quickly put there and then business info, personal info. You'll select very quickly there. Oh, but I want to pause. This will not affect your credit score. We keep your data safe and will not share your information without your approval. I do want to address that. And that's all that's on screen. So let's just select something here it would apply to you. Expansion. What are you needing to use the funds for? You can select from any of them other at the bottom. I've seen this with other sequences out there. So they're all somewhat similar. What industry best matches your needs? We'll select here, there. Here we go. This will not affect your credit score. Same thing. Next, which states are you in? So I'm just kind of going through this rather quickly. I could have stated some other extra information, um, perhaps on the type of funding, more specifically on other parts as well. But which state is your business? And let's just say that there. What is your business monthly revenue? We can select from one of the options. We'll just say, I don't know, put an option there. Let's create your account to save your progress. We'll send you personalized rates to the email address and we'll collect it there. And here, let me just say, I have read, understood, and consented to the language and authorizations outlined in SOFI's eSign Act consent, privacy policy, terms of use, and arbitration agreement. We recommend that you obtain a copy for your reference. Agree. And then we can select there. Now we'll go into the personal information section. So we can just enter some information here on that and go for the next page, enter that number there that you need to. What's your credit score? Select from one of the options. We'll select that one there. Almost there, you're just a click away from receiving your business loan offers. And you're here, you're like, oh, great, yeah. Very hassle-free, streamlined. But be very cautious. I'm not going to go through all of this next part because obviously I don't want to continue getting bombarded, although I can show it as an example and subscribe and do things, but there's still a way for getting contacted. So be very cautious of things like that. And so by checking this box, you agree that SoFi to you authorize SoFi to deliver my information to Fundera, Funding Circle, Lendio, On Deck, Bisty Credit, and Seek Business Capital to receive offers. I authorize SoFi and On Deck, but we just went into that to contact me by voice and text at the telephone number you have provided or I have provided, including contact through automatic dialing systems, artificial and or pre-recorded voice messaging and by email. Giving this consent is not required to use Lantern. If you wish to not give this permission, do not click view offers, but please click here to go to the Lantern homepage. So you can select there and you can select view offers. Let's just kind of go through this next part. So view offers here, I'll show you. Give it a second to load. Congrats, we found loan offers from, and they'll tell you this one specifically, Funding Circle, 
So it looks like it right there. And you would go there and apply now. It looks so convenient, right? But that's not actually the right approach. They're going to show you about the lender as a global leader. Da, 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 da. Disclaimer, this does not constitute an actual commitment to lend or offer to extend credit. And that's what it looks like bottom of the page there. So yes, they are reputable, but again, be very cautious of who you give your information to. They may not even be in your best interest in your wheelhouse to go and get funding with. I'm not saying they would never be, but are they best suited for you and your business and your needs now? And in the future, there could be a different setup to go through. And I'll leave more information on my recommendation as well down below. Term loans, loan amount, term six to 84 months, but be cautious just because they give you a lot of time doesn't mean you're gonna get that. It sounds good. Like you can go through this longer term length, fund deposit in your account in as little as that much time but there's more behind the surface that you may not know. So let me go back to this. As you can see the page there, here we already are past the SoFi page. And I do wanna end this video by then saying, hey, at the end of the day, we need to get you what's best for you in your business. But more importantly, it's going to affect you and your health, your relationships. It could do that. I've seen it. I've helped out a lot of business owners. And what matters to me are all that, your health, your relationships, your wealth, and while SoFi is very reputable and can be convenient, like some of these other online marketplaces, you saw some of them earlier, or directly like an on deck, doesn't mean that they are going to best, be best suited for you right away or that you should ever go through them. And like I said, usually with what I'm able to do and help people with, a lot of the times we can do more maximum approvals, but just depends. Disclaimer there, of course, a disclaimer there. And it just depends per file, per case basis on what we're looking at. And a majority of the times from what I've seen and what I've been able to do in my time and my career in this is we've been able to be and help out a lot of people and also make sure that at the end of the day, you have the peace of mind. You can lay your head on your pillow. Literally, they're relaxing. Not even you've gone to sleep yet, but you just know there's no other doubt in your mind, nothing else that's going to ruin your night and wake up, you're gonna feel refreshed. So I'll leave my recommendation down below in the description on how to get started as well as the questionnaire. And so the questionnaire will be right here and it says, get the funding your business needs fast with the help from a real expert. Please select from the two, one of the two options below to fill out the right funding questionnaire. So it could look like this more or less over time. Some of the results I've generated for people. And it's just a handful. Of course, I have a lot more. It's your money. Go ahead and claim it before it's too late about myself. And if I didn't say this already, I've been there before. I worked in the nine to five. I had to stumble through a lot of times after post-academics. I went to school initially for sociology. I was a division one soccer player. Then I went into the math more heavier. And I got into the love of chemistry is my favorite class. Then that led me down the route of chemical engineering sometime there. And then later on, I saw the market and I wanted to get into business. So I got into the business administration stuff and I got into that even deeper from there on out. I worked in construction manufacturing and not even in the cubicle space. I worked in the field. I was actually running the machines for an aerospace company with my dad underneath that company uh, with another owner, not my dad, but an owner and other multiple warehousing. I was a ramp agent in my younger twenties at some point in other fields as well. And one of my latest ones was a financial logistics position where the company was going down under and I had to start preparing. I had to go back on unemployment benefits, food stamp cards, and I really didn't want to go through all of that again, but I had to momentarily. And it's just was something I didn't want to go through. And then going through a grocery store and paying with that EBT card, not even being able to look the person in the eyes, an introverted person in me. And it just was not something that I want to continue to let my family down. Not that I was bad by any means, but these things happen to us. And it's just, it fuels something and it fueled something inside of me. And I said, enough is enough. I'm not going to let them take that burden or I'm not going to have them pay for everything or do things like this. It's time to do something different. And instead of just looking for more schooling or another higher position or just for more certifications on top of what I already had, it was time to start a business. It was time to do things for myself. And that led me down the route of digital marketing, affiliate marketing. You have the business loan brokering in time after I learned all this stuff and what I went through and helping people out here now. So here's what it would look like. And you can learn a little bit more about myself, my company, why viral funding solutions for one. We're very loyal. I'm very loyal. Uh, versatility, a lot of resilience, experience. There's quite a few more things as well. And so if you're a non-startup, you can select this. You get a free six-step pre-approval lending checklist. And get the funding your business needs fast. The page may look different in time.
Get a personalized and customized email response for your best funding option and options from a real business loan broker expert. Please be serious. Please do not be that person wasting my energy and time being hard to get a response slash feedback from. I spend a good amount of energy and time on these. Plus, get a free six-step pre-approval lending checklist to get you approved for funding much faster without making mistakes than you see down there. It could literally take you less than a minute. I know it looks kind of lengthy, but once I have all of this, like you're going to be so happy now that you inputted all this because you're going to get a response back usually via email. Whether you qualify or you don't, you'll see those options. You're going to go, whoa. And it's going to be broken down so well, and you're going to know where to look. I'm going to tell you, you don't got to look at the rest of this. Just view these two to three options based on what you submitted without even me looking at the bank statements yet. That can make a different determination, but I know how to pre-underwrite these files. I know what the best underwriters and lenders actually want out there. The actual meat and the potatoes for what they're searching for. The underwriting processes, stuff that you guys can't find online normally by yourself, just looking through blogs, YouTube content, unless it's mine, a lot more or less I've shared with. But here it is on the thank you page. You could come across a video and or something different that breaks down my process or something similar. You can get access to more material if there, but that's what it looks like. I also would try to leave for you this uh, document down below for the business loan application and qualifications for revenue base. We kind of covered that earlier on revenue base and the qualifications, what it really takes to get qualified. If you don't have it, perhaps you know, I'll steer you in a different direction and you'll be navigated by just going through this section. And you'll learn more how it works, more or less. But the questionnaire is the best place to begin with. And I'll show you this more or less, but more customized for you. So maybe some ballpark numbers. But you can see that are multiple options. You have bank term loans, lines of credit. There's the bank term loans. You have, if you qualify for them, of course, online banks. And then SBA 7A options and what I prefer, what it takes for different scenarios, credit-based solutions, personal funding, as I alluded to earlier, stuff you guys can't find just all over the web. Here and there's more to it too that I don't even put on here. There's even a lot more that we have to go through the process and we go through more. There's things to um, package if so as well. And so here you see all of this uh, personal credit stuff I have as well. Business credit building video series. You can pick up on that too, but I'll leave it down below in the description. If this is not down there, it's okay. Don't worry about it. The questionnaire is the best place to begin with. Okay, so we've gone enough for time. I try to keep it as short as possible, but you guys need as much as possible, not just with SoFi, but with everything else that I'm trying to convey to you and making sure you go down the right path. And something like filling out this questionnaire would be the best place to begin with for you, whether you're a startup or a non-startup. All information will be down below in the description, also my email, but this is the best place to begin with. I have systems, processes, and automation, and I'm very punctual and disciplined about how I use my energy and time and what I do throughout my day. And so you will only get the best from me and what will make sense to you, you'll understand. And if you haven't function or operate at a level that I'm kind of like doing things. You don't have to be, I'm not saying you're not, but I'm doing things now where it's very energy and time effective for both parties, all parties. And so you'll figure this out in time and so forth. So down below, all information will be there. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others who you feel will get value from it. It could be a complete stranger, a friend or a family member. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so and click that bell notification icon so you do not miss any future content I will be coming out with. And lastly, I think that covered everything. Let me just make sure that there isn't anything else that I missed on the SoFi website. So here, yeah, we've covered this, SoFi at work. You can go through that part and then energize your workforce, energize your company. More or less, see, we were seeing someone on the last page, but in a different format, student loan repayment. Here you see that. And if we come back here, we pretty much covered this. Uh, I'm not going to get into the credit cards too much, but here we can take a good, quick look. Unlimited 2% cash back, rewards, keep it simple, et cetera. With the SoFi card, that could be in your best interest. And if you're looking for more to add on top of that, I can help with, especially on the business side. If we need to do business or personal cards as well, we can work on that. And there are other formats. And then using for business as well, more specifically. So here you can see all that. And yeah, that'll conclude everything in this video. Again, look down below. Appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll speak to you or I'll talk to you on the next one. Take care.